Hi everyone, welcome. Let's take a look at the basics of becoming a modular operator. We're going to be using the Teenage Engineering Pocket Operator Modular System 170 and the 400. Since they're pretty similar, we're going to start with the 170 and then move on to the 400 in this episode. Okay. The modular synthesizer is a very rewarding instrument. Even though it can look very scary and confusing at first, it's also very open for experimentation and finding your own path to the sounds that you like. The modules are designed to be used in several different ways, meaning there is really not a wrong way to use a module. So, even though the designer might have had an idea of how you will use it, you don't have to. You can do it just as you want to, as long as you get the results you like. Okay. So, let's start. Let's check it out. First things first, let's talk about the fundamentals of modular synthesis, the building blocks. We have our oscillator, we have a filter, we have an envelope, VCA, and an LFO. We also got a keyboard module right here and a speaker module on the back to get the audio out. Okay, first things we're going to look at is the square oscillator. It's called a square because it's the square shape of the signal. It looks like this on an oscilloscope. An oscillator is usually the thing that makes the sound of your modular synth. I say usually, since you remember modular is pretty weird and you can use other stuff as your oscillator. We're going to look at that later on in the series, so stick around for that, it's going to be amazing. Next, there's the VCA. VCA stands for Voltage Controlled Amplifier. Voltage control means that it's controlled by voltage. And control voltage, CV, is something that modular synthesizers use to communicate. The CV allows the modules to talk to each other and modulate each other. So a VCA, a voltage controlled amplifier, is an amplifier that is controlled by voltage. Whatever you send into it, you get an option to control. I have a little output uh, cable connected here back to speaker module, just so I don't have to reach around and look weird on camera. Let's connect the square oscillator to the VCA. I'm going to use the output of the square to the input of the VCA. Ah! There it is, the square wave. Wow, sirs. You can tune it. This little knob down here. You can also use the PVM mod to change the shape of the square. Let's connect it to the filter. The filter will shape the sound, make us be able to shape it. So we're gonna put this up here, roll it back up. Yeah, nothing really changed until we turn the frequency right here. This is a low pass filter, so it takes away the high end and the upper harmonics of the signal. So you get smooth and uh, greasy sounds like this. You can enhance the resonance to make that even more noticeable. Cool. Have to lower the volume here again. Now let's make a melody. If you want to record a pattern to the sequencer, it's pretty simple. You choose what track you want by pushing track and selecting. Right now we want the number one, because you can see for the first three tracks you have the CV here. For the first three tracks you have the gate, and then the keyboard track gets three gates and three CVs out. Okay, we've selected track number one, and if we want to program something in, you just hit program, to the light console, and you play. For instance, then turn program off, press play. I have programmed a sequence on the keyboard down here, on track number one. So I'm going to get the oscillator to follow that sequence. I'm going to connect, 
CV1. My sequence was on track one, remember? Put that into the key input on the oscillator. Notice that it changed tones. So now you can play it right here. Sweet. Let's hear our melody. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Funky. That's all fun, but it's still drones. As long as you're not a drone artist, this will bother you. If you want to stop this drone, you can connect the envelope to the control voltage input on the VCA. Whew, it's quiet. This control port controls this knob. So if you have this all the way up, it controls the full length of this. Right now it's the envelope that's controlled it. An envelope can shape your amplification and the shape of your sound using attack, decay, sustain and release. I'll show you and it will make more sense. But why isn't it sounding now, you ask? Yes, that's because the envelope isn't triggered, so it's closed. You need to trigger it for it to open and you have to hear your sound. Okay, let's use gate 1. It's the same, it's the gate signal from the CV sequence that I programmed on track 1. Let's check. Plug gate 1 into trigger on the envelope and press play and we'll see what happens. Ah. Now it's just like, Whoa. it's short and sweet. And I can change the sound by like, if I increase the attack, Whoa. fades in at the beginning, no sharp attack. Increase the decay and release for longer notes, or you can decrease them all for super short and clicky sounds. Cool. So now we have control over our amplifier, our voltage control amplifier. Great. We can also use this envelope to control the filter. Let's plug that into the control right here. Each time the envelope now triggers, it will open the filter. It will turn this knob. And the, how much it will turn this knob is, depends on this knob right here. So I'll push play and we'll increase it and see what happens. Increase the knob. Increase the frequency a little and increase the envelope control. Sweet. Now you're starting to see why modular synthesis is so much fun, right? Okay. Now we have one module that we haven't touched. It's the LFO. It's a low frequency oscillator. It's basically an oscillator that goes low. So you can use that as slow and low triangle or square to modulate other parameters on your synth. Because you know, you can't always be turning knobs all the time. You have to be cool, uh, make creative decisions, have fun. So you have to get your synthesizer to turn knobs for you. That's why you have LFOs, that's why you have VCAs, envelopes, etc. So let's do the triangle LFO. You're gonna send this shape to the pulse width modulation on the square that we tried earlier. Let's do it. This decides how much of the LFO frequency will be let through. Okay, let's push play and see what happens when I increase the pulse width. Now we're talking, now we're in trans land. That's cool. This is the basics of modular synthesis, explained to you right here. Your first patch on the Pocket Operator Modular 170. Now, let's move on to the 400 system and see what's different. Here it is, the Pocket Operator Modular 400 system. It's got the same building blocks as the 170, pretty much. But it's got some extras and doubles, and that's awesome. 
instead of one oscillator, you get three. You get a square, saw, and a sine. Instead of one VCA, you get two. Instead of one envelope, you get two. Sweet! Instead of the keyboard, you get a little sequencer. You also get a noise module and a random module. Hmm, wonder what we can do with that. Let's check it out. I'll walk you through this patch. It's very basic. You have a... Each oscillator is going into the mixer module. I forgot to, I forgot to mention that. We also have a mixer module that you can mix signals. Very handy utility to have. Uh, all of the oscillators go into this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, and they all get CV, the same CV from the sequencer. The mixer signal goes to the VCA that goes to the speaker. All right, so let's hear the difference. We all know the square wave since it's in the 170. Sounds like this. A little sequence I got going. Here's the saw wave. Got a little different character. And finally the sine wave. Yet another character. More smoother. Cool. So you can use and choose what oscillator to use. <laughs> that was like an epic rap line. But you can use the different oscillators to get different flavors of sound. But you can also combine them. So bring up the sign, sneak in the saw and then the square. Now we're in a very complex wave, a very super wave territory. Let's patch this into the filter. So I'll take the mixer out into the filter in. To the filter output to the VCA. And we got your standard filter. Same filter as on the 170. If you want to trigger the envelope, we'll connect the envelope to the control in on the VCA. Output of the envelope. If you want to trigger it, we're going to use either the clock or the PO. It stands for pocket operator pulse. Uh, so the, it's the clock of the sequencer. It triggers each step. And the pocket operator is for syncing pocket operators. We'll trigger it with the clock. And we'll get this funky little thing going on. Hmm, that's weird. Just this on the 170. Very nice. Okay, let's turn this down. Um, noise. What about it? What is it good for? It's good for a lot of things. We'll get to that later on. So, in the, another episode. But for now, just let's hear it. Okay? Are you ready for this? Might get a little bit loud if you're using headphones. White noise. And this is loud. So. Oh my god. That was creepy. Why do we want that? Uh, noise could be good for different things, as I said, we'll see later, but right now we can you can blend it in, mix it in, get some weird little noisy, dirty signal going, gritty. Or you can use it to feed the random, because the random module listens to whatever comes in here and spits out random voltages, depending on what clock signal it gets. It's got its internal clock as well, so it's, it can sample on its own. It basically becomes a sample and hold engine if you do this. Take your saw, noise, put it into input, and choose what you want to modulate. I'll take the filter cutoff. I'm gonna make this very resonant and oh forgot to turn off the VCA. You already hear it. Now it's the filter going. This is the random. It's like an old 
space, space computer sound. It's very cool to use. So that's the random module. We're gonna have some more fun with that in another episode. So be sure to check that out. This is the 400 system. You get a little more of everything, a little more utility, more choice, more options. And it's yellow. It looks great. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.